Okay, so uh, load testing a, just out of curiosity, this is just a, uh, a Schedule 40, uh, what's called a UPVC ball valve. UPVC, which means it's unplasticized, is theoretically supposed to be, well not theoretically, it's supposed to be a stronger material. Uh, and so I just want to see how this will do, just out of curiosity. Now I tried to get it to hold, you know, somewhere, I don't know, around 200 pounds for 30 seconds, uh, maybe a little over, but it just uh, wouldn't do it. The ABYC standard uh, for a seacock is that it needs to be able to withstand, and you see what happened, the threads just literally uh, pulled right out of it. Oh, and it split uh, at the, you know, where it threads onto the ball valve, uh, onto the uh, flanged adapter. Um, but again, the, you know, this is a, it's a UPVC, unplasticized PVC. Uh, this is an NSF uh, rated valve, uh, which means, uh, you know, you can, it's uh, freshwater uh, plumbing rated, uh, drinking water safe. Uh, but uh, the UPVC valve, it wouldn't even hold 200 pounds for 30 seconds. The requirement under ABYC standards for a seacock is to be able to withstand 500 pounds at the uh, the innermost hard piping so that's why I was pulling here actually which is a little bit below because the hose clamp is literally just holding that uh, the line on so the ABYC requirement is that it handles 500 pounds at the innermost hard piping for a period of 30 seconds uh, we had some peaks upwards of 230 250 in that range um, but as the valve gave, uh, it, you know, it, it began to bend and then the line pressure would drop off a little bit. Um, but, you know, when I watch the video again, we'll be able to see, you know, roughly where she held at. But, again, I couldn't get it to hold any more than, you know, roughly, you know, 200 plus minus pounds for the 30 seconds that we were, that the ABYC would require. Um, and that's, that's 300 pounds less roughly than, than is required for a, a seacock.